everyone. My name is Christy and welcome to day 902 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I'm going to be trying out the Beauty For Real Shadow Sticks 24-7 eyeshadow duo in Midnight Marathon and Ever Starstruck. So this is a product that I got in my July 2020 Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate Box. So as always, I'll have my unboxing video linked in the description down below if you haven't seen that yet. But I love getting eyeshadow products and I really have not tried out many stick formulas of eyeshadow. So I am very intrigued by this. I'm also not that familiar with the brand Beauty For Real. So I love trying out new makeup brands. And this eyeshadow duo retails for $38. So that seems pretty high end to me. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, it's like a, kind of like a chubby stick pencil. Looks like you twist it. Okay, good, yes, you twist it up, but it has a built-in sharpener on the end here. So in case you wanna make it a sharper point. But so this one here, the brown shade is called Midnight Marathon. So I'm gonna do some swatches before I try out an eyeshadow look. Ooh. That is beautiful and very creamy. And it's not too dark of a brown, but it has shimmer, silver shimmer in it, which is so pretty. I love wearing this type of brown shade on my eyes. When it says that they're infused with <laughs> meadow foam seed oil, no idea what that is, and chamomile to hydrate, soothe, and calm the delicate skin around the eyes. So that's nice that there's those good ingredients in these eyeshadows as well. And then this shade here, Ever Starstruck. Pretty, like a, almost like a pink. Beige champagne shade. Both of these have really pretty shimmer to them. And I love shimmer on the eyes. So those are the swatches. They are kind of subtle, which I am fine with. They seem like they'll be good for an everyday type of eyeshadow look. I could also see myself using the lighter shade as a highlighter and the darker shade as an eyeliner. So I'm really excited about all of the possible uses of this. So why don't I just go ahead and start trying it out. I am gonna start out with the lighter Ever Starstruck shade and go in with some highlighting to start. So let's try some brow highlight. Yes, perfect brow highlight shade. It kind of goes with my skin tone since I do have pink tones to my skin. And then yeah, just easy to tap and blend out with my finger. I love that as a brow highlight. And you can get the perfect precise shape can kind of trace out the arch of my brow with the pencil. And then it doesn't even really need to be blended with my finger, but I feel like I can just perfect the shape by just quickly tapping it with my finger. That is perfect. Quick, easy, everyday brow highlight. I'm also gonna try this as an inner corner highlight. That looks nice too. It's maybe a little bit more subtle and not quite as brightening for the inner corner as I normally do, but it still works. It still looks good. I really am just loving the creamy formula. It makes it so easy to apply, so quick to apply and so easy to blend. So I like to do the darker shade in the outer corner and then the lighter shade on the inner half of the eye. So I'm going in with the brown shimmer now and I'm gonna go ahead and basically just color in the outer third basically of the eyelid. And I'm already noticing such pretty sparkle. Like this shade, it's really not that dark. I could definitely see myself wearing this all over the eyelid. And some days I probably would do that. Just wear this brown all over the eyelid. 
but for today's look, I wanna try out both of the shades. It's a little bit uncomfortable applying it to the eyelid. I feel like it's poking my eye a little bit. So I'm trying to be as gentle as I can be, but the application isn't super comfortable. And I feel like since it is a subtle shade and it blends nicely, I can blend it up towards the crease as well so that I'm not having harsh lines. But yeah, definitely subtle on the eye. I kind of wish this brown was a little bit darker, but I do still like it. It's still really pretty. So now going back in with the lighter shade, Ever Starstruck, and I'm going to apply this to the rest of the eyelid. And I'm filling in from the inner corner down to the lash line and up into the crease. And then with my finger, just blending that, blending that in with the brown shade, blending it up towards the crease a little bit. I'm kind of bummed by how subtle it looks because even though this is quick and easy application, it still takes time and for the amount of time I'm dedicating to my eyeshadow look with these, it barely does anything to my look. Like I don't even feel like someone would even notice that I have two different eyeshadow sticks on my eyes right now because it just looks like a tiny little hint of sparkle. You're like, I feel like I need more color to the eyelid and trying to layer up a lot of it, but it is just such a light shade that matches my skin tone so much that I think my preferred use for this lighter shade is for that brow highlight. That really is such a beautiful, perfect, easy brow highlight. But as for the eyelid, I just don't think it does quite enough for me. So I would probably rather use the brown shade all over my eyelid, like I was saying before, because that'll just make a little bit more of an impact to my makeup look. But I'm also really curious to try out this brown shade as an eyeliner. So I'm gonna run this along the lower lash line. Yeah, that looks pretty. It adds some pretty metallic sheen, a little bit of emphasis to the eye. So I feel like this would be a good daily, daytime eyeliner. And the creamy formula makes it really comfortable to apply to the lash line with how it just glides on. All right, and so I think that's the best I am able to achieve with these two shades. It's not terrible, but in my opinion, it is not worth $38. I still found good uses for them, but their actual use is eyeshadow sticks. <laughs> and my preferred use is either a highlighter stick or an eyeliner. As for actual eyeshadow, I just don't think that they do enough, especially for that price point. So I am glad that I have these. I'm excited to continue using them, but I'm glad I didn't spend $38 on them and I actually got them for a pretty good deal getting them in my Ipsy Ultimate box. But I would love to know in the comments down below what uses you have found for these and if you have any tips for applying them. But thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day and I will see you tomorrow in my next video.